this is what I have so far of the back of the second Akina polystrain drawing, which is the last side I need to complete. All I've got of the other sides is to do the top and bottoms. Before I work on the top and bottoms, I'm going to work on essentially the fur and bracelets parts basically everything else. Uh, the tail, in my opinion, didn't turn out as well as I think I did for the first Akina polystrene drawing, but it turned out okay. I felt a bit bad for how I did on the tail initially during the morning hours. I recall working on the tail starting from after I had the first cup of coffee of the day out of a morning pot along with a slice of entirely homemade pizza that dad's mom shared with us she made the dough herself And put a bit of, from what I recall, a bit of hamburger meat and some veggies on top. I had that slice with the first cup of coffee of the day. And had two full cups and a partial third cup roughly from 7 in the morning to 9 in the morning. Actually, if I recall, I just remember that third partial cup extended to when I had half of the remaining half of the garbage plate pizza, which was two slices at around 10.30 in the morning. And then I had the remaining quarter, which was the last two slices. around 4 p.m. Uh, which was during the time in which if I recall I would mostly end up falling asleep yeah, on my bed since as um, the day transitioned from the morning hours to the afternoon hours, it got Cooler outside, colder outside, though 
I think it only got noticeably colder. For me, but still nothing I couldn't handle. Because it got draftier in the attic. I have a habit of calling this the attic. But it's really more of a big upstairs room. It's still a little drafty in here, but again, it's fine for me. Even when I generally had the window closed. At times the breeze seemed to come in anyway. This is Skinny Pop Popcorn. And these are to meant to be toasted tuna fish sandwiches with cheese. Dad made the tuna uh, filling for the sandwiches. He took standard canned tuna and added black olives and banana peppers to them. I believe he uh, did this while I was uh, during one of my periods in which I was asleep during the evening. Uh, this is as uh, far as I got before getting to the period in which I generally uh, throughout the late afternoon and evening hours I would repeatedly fall asleep on my bed in this room Since at times, I think I was tempted to go in to the blanket that's on the bed. Yeah, the upstairs room was yeah, by 1 p.m. or so. And still is a temperature that's fine for me, but... It does admittedly... Admittedly... make being in that blanket uh, more comfortable.
Yeah, but I'm doing well now. I didn't waste any of that garbage plate pizza Dad got for me the other day. Maybe two to three days ago. At Salvatore's, if I recall correctly. Uh, though on top of the usual... 30 seconds per slice rule. I did an additional 30 seconds. And because there was so much stuff, so many toppings on top of the pizza, As such that in both cases, having two slices of that pizza both in the late morning and the late afternoon, yeah, the extra 30 seconds were necessary and to get the pizza to a nice temperature. Uh, these Kit Kats Dad shared with me. Hey, one of his friends hey, gave these Kit Kats to him. I think it's part of uh, letter carrier appreciation activities. And it's not one of his friends that I tend to mention on these videos when I'm at Dad's place. It was a nice thing for that man to do, and it was nice of Dad to share these with me. From the few times I checked every now and then during the morning and afternoon hours, The storm didn't seem to be that bad. It seemed pretty mild, mild to me. The winter storm. I think in total, we got about six or so inches of snow. Uh, though I'm not sure if viewing it from the first floor or I mean the second floor from one story up would make me Kind of biased. To essentially see less snow accumulation than I would if I viewed it from the first floor.
from the ground. From the few times I checked, there didn't seem to be, it didn't seem to be snowing too hard. I couldn't really see the snowfall from where I was. As for the second Akina polystyrene drawing, I don't think I have too much more work to do before it's complete. And for the most part, it's just uh, coloring things in. I recall at some point in the afternoon, I spent a considerable amount of time making sure this it was as straight as possible. And I adjusted the length of the bottoms a few times. for the back, uh, this side of the polystyrene drawing. Ultimately, the tail turned out okay. Uh, while working on it, it's important that I try to maintain the uh, same width for the tail while uh, making it curve. And it, it turned out uh, the yellow sections are generally a little longer than the blue sections based off uh, the source material I used as reference images for both this and the first Akina polystyrene drawing. I recall roughly from around 2 to 3 p.m. Uh, frantically on a new raid. Uh, the, uh, before starting the one I was currently on. I frantically got to the farthest I could get over a hundred Uh, levels on or towns on Raid Heroes Total War. Uh, I think the farthest I could get was around a hundred and nine. And then I started a new raid. Then frantically around that time completed towns on the Rogues, a special event that's still ongoing, so that it would give I would get a whole bunch of gold needed to give me a head start, as I've been doing for every new raid. So I got to around a hundred and nine on the previous raid, started a new raid, and then completed as many rogue event, rogues event, towns as I could to get the gold I needed to get a head start on upgrading the gold producing buildings in my castle since their levels are reset upon starting a new raid.
all in all, I'm currently in a pretty good position. I'm currently just waiting for the trader to come around again. I have to keep my town level low on the current rate I'm on in order to keep the prices, the trader's prices, low. And so I can hopefully, for gold, buy some epic rarity hero cards. While working on the second Akana polystyrene drawing, I noticed that these two fine-tipped yellow Sharpie markers were starting to dry out. They're still functional, but luckily I was able to find this third one from the spare ultimate collection of Sharpie markers that I have in my room at Dad's place. And it's uh, more comfortable to use a fresh marker compared to one that's starting to dry out. Uh, this isn't the only Sharpie marker I'm using to color the back of uh, the drawing, but it's the one, the color that I'm using the most currently.